Every child is unique in their own way. But there are some children whose births are considered so unique that the attention of journalists around the world is focused on them. This is what happened to Argentine twin girls Catalina and Virginia. The babies were born into an ordinary family, but their photos immediately went viral on the internet. Jorge Gomez and his wife were really looking forward to the birth of the girls. They loved their son insanely, but wanted the family to be even bigger. That's why the moment the couple learned they were having twins, there was no limit to their happiness. But the parents didn't know how unusual their newborns would turn out to be. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. The unique babies really amazed their mom and dad. The twins were born premature at 36 weeks. In spite of this, the babies were healthy and had normal weight. But it was clear at once that very unusual babies were born. They immediately attracted the attention of the doctors at the Argentine hospital. The pictures of the newborns became a sensation all over the world. The reason is that Catalina and Virginia are albino twins. They have very light skin and completely white hair. If we consider that the girls' parents are very dark-skinned Argentinians, then this contrast is really impressive. Despite the fact that the little girls don't look at all like Jorge and his wife, they have unconditionally accepted their children's characteristics. It's a blessing for us, the parents say. Albinism is a rare genetic disorder that affects 1 in 20,000 children. Interestingly, this figure varies by race. In Africans, for example, about 1 in 3,000 newborns is albino. Europeans have the smallest number of such children. In order for an albino child to be born, both parents must have this gene. That is why the phenomenon is considered so rare and unique. What seems even more surprising is that in an Argentinian family, there was born not one albino baby, but twins. But this leaves a mark not only on the appearance of the baby. Albinos often have poor eyesight, brittle bones, and an intolerance to sunlight. Unusual children with white hair and skin are often the subject of mockery. Albinos are also considered by some to be mentally challenged. All these stereotypes have nothing to do with reality. Albinos are children just like anyone else. They deserve the unconditional love of their parents. Jorge and his wife adore their little ones. Raising girls is a little more difficult than raising average children. Catalina and Virginia need to be protected from the sun's rays, which are harmful to the baby's skin. They also need to be regularly given vitamin D, which is poorly synthesized by the body on its own. But all of these are just small nuances, because the most important thing that children should receive is the love of their parents. And Catalina and Virginia certainly don't have to complain about a lack of it. As soon as the extraordinary girls were born, they attracted worldwide media attention. But soon the little girls were forgotten. Now the twins are four years old, they feel fine and are perfectly healthy. Relatives of the girls recently posted photos of the happy babies, who are gloriously wearing dresses specially made for them by a family friend. Catalina and Virginia still have the same snow-white hair and porcelain skin. One of the babies wears orange sunglasses to protect her eyes from the damaging effects of the sun. In everything else, they are perfectly ordinary girls, much loved by their mother and father. Children with special needs rarely realize that they are different from others. If parents love a child, they will have no problems communicating with their peers. That is why it's so important to accept your children, even if they're different from others. Catalina and Virginia were very lucky to be born into a loving and caring family, so albinism doesn't bring them any additional problems. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.